Hello, all you beautiful people, and welcome back once again to send newts. The cool thing to me about finding different salamander species is that most wildlife you find on a daily basis are brown, gray, black, boring. But then like when you flip a log and look in some mud and you just see like this yellow salamander, you're just like, bro, like why are you yellow? Now that it's officially spring, spotted salamanders are traveling to temporary vernal pools to breed, also making it the best time to find some footage. And you guys know that I'm from South Carolina, so an extra sick bonus is that the spotted salamander is the state amphibian of South Carolina. And also Ohio. Let's go check them out. I've come to some temporary pools created by winter rains in Columbia, South Carolina, and it's these areas that are hot spots for spotted salamanders. Aside from rainy nights in which they're traveling to breed, Adults are usually hiding under logs or in burrows during the day. Quick flip and we find our first spotted. Right away you can see the bright yellow spots down its back that give it its common name. Now I move it on a log to get a better look and quick side note, anytime you google a picture of a salamander or see one in a textbook and it's on a log or just posed up on some nice moss, the scientist person who took the picture moved it to the spot because salamanders just don't chill in the open like that. Next time you see a picture like that in your bio 101 text or something, just know it's cause some scientists wanted their picture of a slimy lizard thing to look nice. Now the spotted salamander is a type of mole salamander, a group that the marbled salamander also belongs to. Though marbles breed in autumn and spotteds breed in winter and late spring, their larvae occupy the same pools as eggs do not hatch until the winter rains trigger growth. Because of this, I was able to find a cute little marbled in close proximity to the spotteds. Another very fashionable species, which makes you wonder, who exactly are all these colorful salamander patterns for? They live in mud during the day, and they mate in the dark, so they aren't looking good for each other. Why do their patterns look so cool? Though this individual is the same size as the previous spotted that we looked at, the spotted can actually get way larger. I mean, look at this thing. It's like a freaking tank. I feel like I'm holding a weapon right now. Spotted can grow up to 25 centimeters, a little bit less than 10 inches, making them the second largest terrestrial salamander in the eastern US. Second only to the tiger salamander, the larger size of this individual also allows details on its body to be seen easier. All spotted salamanders have 12 costal grooves, and a costal groove is a feature present in most salamander species that increases surface area of the skin for water absorption and benefits thermoregulation. This one is about 7 inches long, and I know this because I literally took a ruler to my arm and scaled it to this footage of the salamander crawling down my arm while I was editing. Trust me. Now let's look at this robust salamander for a little while longer and get it back to its burrow. Except normally when I try to return the wildlife, they will happily go back to where they were. This one doesn't appear to want my help, but that's fine. I didn't want to help you anyway. Ugh. Don't worry guys, I was able to get it back into its burrow off camera. And with that, thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like at the bottom. Subscribe if you want to see more Sinich in the future. And I'll see you guys next time.